Claw fight to keep one of their players. And the final treacherous challenge is revealed. So in the final race to escape, your next challenge will be called... Hi, I'm Joel. And this is Escape from Scorpion Island, where the action is non-stop. And the challenges just get tougher. And as we know, our adventurers never give in. Whatever the island throws at them, they're always ready. Scorpion Island may look like a tropical paradise, but it's tough and unpredictable. Two teams have been battling it out in a series of extreme challenges to win extra players. Claw have six members, while Sting are leading with ten. The final challenge will be the ultimate test of teamwork. The biggest team will have the greatest advantage, but only if they can work together to defeat the island. There is everything still to play for, and Sting and Claw need to think carefully on how they manage their teams. So, is the pressure getting to anyone? And how is camp life? Now the end is in sight. This is my rope. This is my rope. We are tied it. We are PC. This is my rope. In Sting's camp, the boys are getting feisty as the pressure of the final day looms. Isn't one piece yours and one piece mine? Yeah. We're all playing tug of war because Alex was really dominant over the possession of a piece of string. No, 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 no
Now, Sting won the first round, which means they get to nominate a player from Claw they would like to steal. Cameron, you are team captain of Sting. What I'd like you to do right now is have a huddle with your team, find out what they think, but remember, you are the captain, so you have the final say if you can't come to a decision with your team. Go for that huddle. Guys, that's okay. I have to do is have another vote and think of the pros and cons for both of the people the that we need, yeah? OK, hang on, hang on, hang on. OK, for... OK, for Sammy. Cameron, I take it you've come to a decision? Yes. Yep. It is time for you to nominate the player you would like to steal from Team Claw. The player is Jake. You're not going anywhere. You're staying in claw. Yeah. Alex is right at the moment. You are not going anywhere. If you win, you won't go. Jake, how do you feel? Really happy that they think I'm strong, but then I'm pretty sad because I don't really want to leave claw at the very last minute. Sting, if you win the ultimate Jeopardy round, you can claim your prize. You've chosen Jake from Claw. Claw, the only thing that you can do is defend him. Do you understand, Alex? Yes, I do. Cameron, do you understand? Yes, I do. So what makes Jake the island's most wanted? This is his story so far. Jake is one of the original members of Team Claw. He skydived onto Scorpion Island on day one, facing his fear of heights on the very first day. That was brilliant. Oh. He devised the Team Claw Manifesto and has helped initiate all new team members. Our team Manifesto is really clever. We are Team Claw, be scared of our roar! The only boy on Team Claw until Alex arrived. He hoped another boy would join them. Having another girl on the team is a big downer. He is always there to support his fellow teammates. I just need to boost them up, encourage them, do whatever I can. His fighting spirit has seen him win many of the challenges and they thought they could rely on him in any situation. He's strong, he's competitive. Like he said at the beginning, he was nervous because he didn't want to lose. <laughs> But there have been concerns with some members of his team. They think he's up to something and has a secret plan. Yeah. What's he doing? Jake, yeah. come on! He's not, I don't think he's trying. Claw are not the only ones that think that. Sting reckon he's up to something too. He did say to a couple of us that um, he wanted to come into Sting. So I think he might have done that to make sure that he did come into Sting. But what does Jake have to say about it? It's really annoying because I don't really want to go to Sting because I've been in Claw since the start. I don't know why the girls thought I wasn't trying because it's a really hard challenge and it, it looks easy but it's really hard. It hurts your arms and everything so I think they're going to do twice as worse as I am. If Jake does stay, will Claw ever be the same again? Will they trust Jake and will he trust them? For the Ultimate Jeopardy round, you each need four players. Cameron, you're captain of Team Sting. You need to nominate four players. Remember, they can't have played in the first round. Do you want to have a think about it? Yes, please. Yeah. yeah, got it. So playing Ultimate Jeopardy for Team Sting will be first player. Lizzie. Second player. Amy. Third player. Lachlan. And your fourth and final player. Alex. Team Claw, you also need to nominate four players to play for your team. Now, it's going to be slightly difficult because one player will have to play again and that player will have to be the captain. So, Alex, you will be playing in Ultimate Jeopardy. You need to name three players that play alongside you. Well, I will be playing alongside Sammy. 
and Livy and Ayla. Our teams have chosen their players. They know what's up for grabs. It's time for your team talk. Well, I'm, I'm loving Sammy. Your climbing's all right. Yeah. I think that Ayla should I might be Ayla good to climb, climb as well, because she's she light and she's... I thought you said you were scared of heights. Yeah, but I'm willing to. I think the key is going to be having someone on the opposite side of the player counterbalancing. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. Got two people. Got more OK, teams, enough talk. Gather rounds. Gather rounds. You've chosen your team members to play. Sting, are you ready? Ready! Claw, are you ready? Ready! Let's prepare ourselves for action. This is Ultimate Jeopardy. In a mysterious jungle clearing, the island has placed two giant ladders, and the teams must go head to head to race up them and release five team flags. But this is ultimate jeopardy, and so the island is making things much harder for Sting and Claw. This time, the ladders are a massive nine metres tall. That's as high as two double-decker buses stacked on top of each other. So it will need three adventurers to hold them up. And of course, the climber will need an amazing head for heights. Between each flag collection, the climber must come back to ground level, and if at any point they fall or let go of the ladder, they will have to restart their climb at the very bottom. After collecting all the flags, the climber must head down, grab a bat, and scramble all the way back up to strike a team-coloured skull, and whichever team does this first, wins. Three, two, one, go! They're off! And they're racing up those ladders. Alex just made it to the first flag before Sammy. No messing around here. He's on his way back down. Oh, but Sammy's got a flag and she's really close behind him. Both flags are in the air at the same time, but Sammy has really found her form. She's zipped down the ladder and she's overtaken Alex. This could go either way. Sammy is going so fast. That's her second flag and she's straight back down. Well, Alex is back at ground level, but it's taken far too long. He's speeding back up, but Sting are a flag behind now. That's their second. Oh, but that's Claw's third. Alex is really going to have to get a move on to pull this back. Team Claw really stabilising that ladder, which is helping Sammy no end. Here she goes again. Alex training at the moment. We've got Sammy who's going to grab that next flag. She's got it. What? Alex hasn't got time to waste on tying knots. Oh, that's better. You can really see the difference between the team's approaches here. Sammy rips Claw's fourth flag off in an instant, while Alex makes a meal of getting Sting's third, just when he really needs to hurry and try and catch up. Sammy's got one more flag to get. She's coming down. Alex is coming down that ladder just too slowly especially when Sammy is moving at such speed. Team Claw chose Sammy to climb the ladder, and obviously, if you look at her, she hardly weighs anything. A great decision made there by Team Captain Alex. Here she comes to the final jump. She's coming down. Alex, at the moment, is two flags behind for Sting. But they could still pull it back. Alex has really improved his flag-grabbing technique, and he is the kind of ultra-competitive adventurer who never gives up. Sammy is getting down. She needs to get the bat to hit the skull. Well, Alex is nearly back down, but Sting has still got one more flag to go. Oh, and that's the first major wobble for Claw, and it could be just the opportunity Alex needs to make up some ground for Sting. At the moment, Team Claw a little bit unstable. That's Sting's last flag. Alex must be feeling exhausted, but the hopes of his entire team now rest on his speed and the chance of another time-wasting mistake from Claw. Here she goes. She's now going... No! Oh, she just missed! And that ladder is looking wobbly. Alex is back down for his bat now, but surely it's all too late. She still missed it. She just got it. She knocked it. Yes, Team Claw have managed to complete that challenge. They are so, so happy, ecstatic. Team Claw, you've defended Jake. Yes, yes, we have. Sammy, you were incredible up there. <laughs> How was it? It's 
It doesn't seem that hard, but you need a lot of leg muscles because you've got to keep pulling your leg in. Because I do gymnastics, I've got really big leg muscles, calf muscles. So it was easy, but my team supported me so much in that and I couldn't have done it without him, so thank you. That really was one of this year's hardest fought challenges. Right from the off, Alex and Sally both proved themselves to be extremely quick and extremely fearless competitors. Neither of them showed any fear of the immense height of the ladders and both of them looked totally focused on winning. Alex took an early lead, but Sammy quickly decided on a swift grab-and-rip approach, enabling her rapidly to make up ground. Once she'd taken the lead, Alex's grim determination and amazingly fast climbing were just never enough to let him catch her up. And even some late-on ladder wobbles couldn't stop her smacking the skull and claiming victory. So all of Sting and Claw are here with me now after the ultimate Jeopardy round, and Alex, beaten by a girl. Yeah, are you sure? I think she won. How are you do you sure feel about that? She's a girl. Oh, she definitely is. <laughs> Come on, be a man, answer the question. Yeah, I was beaten. Fair and square? I was quick. She was quick. She was quick. But it was a very impressive performance. Are you happy with their performance, Sting? Yes. yes. You guys are really happy. Yeah. Really? Alex, team captain, what did you say before we played Ultimate Jeopardy? Um, that Jack's not, Jake's not going anywhere, and he stayed. He's still here. Yes, he is. Well done. Jake, are you proud of your team? Yeah, Sammy went up there like anything. So you're happy to remain in Claw? Yeah. There is a rumour that I may have heard that you may have not done as well as you possibly could have in the first round because you might want to have joined Sting again. Would that be the case? Nah, it was just hard to go up vertically. So you are actually happy to remain in Claw as they've successfully defended you? Yeah, Sammy done well enough to keep me in Claw. So you actually skydived in as an original. Yes. Would you have liked to have joined Sting? Well, I've been with Claw from the start, so I don't know what it's like, but I think it can't get better than being in Claw. So Jake officially remains in Team Claw, and they're so excited and happy to keep him. <laughs> Claw managed to defend Jake, and with only six members, they must be relieved. Well, really well done to everybody, really, because we did a fantastic job, and we managed to keep Jake, and like I said, Jake, no one's leaving on my watch. Cool. Well, and Sammy, you flew up that ladder. Mm -hmm. I know, you did really, really well, well done. Yeah, you did. Alex, easily. He, he made up so many excuses. Yeah, he doesn't like, want to be beaten by a girl. <laughs> my harness girl. wasn't harness working properly well. and stuff. Yeah. After today's beating, Team Sting are starting to worry about the final race to escape. If we want to escape tomorrow, we have to have back a loads of sleep so we are, are all energetic tomorrow, OK? Yes! Yes! Right. Yeah. yeah! One, two, three, Sting! I'm really looking forward to the final challenge. I think it's going to be really, really tough, and hopefully Sting can come out with a victory. As night fell, Claw are feeling confident after today's victory. Well, I think because, you know, they've got ten players and yep. they argue a lot and they mess around. We've got six and I think that because we've got a smaller group, I think we've got an advantage to that. I think uh, one of our team strengths is communication. We all work as a team and communicate really well. See, the other team doesn't communicate at all and that's why they've lost and they argue a lot. They haven't connected and, as a team as much as we have. And if you've watched, remember when Kai and Lachlan played? Yeah. See how, how stressed Lachlan got. I can't think how stressed they're going to get if someone trips at the end challenge and maybe can't do it. That's what they lack. Like. They, they don't support each other. And we I support each other. Like. We've ended up with six players and they've got ten. And so I think we might have a disadvantage there. But that can also be an advantage because um, when you're communicating, it's a lot easier to communicate with less people. And I've noticed that they don't communicate very well, so it could quite very well be an advantage for us. Yeah, and also because um, we've, we've seen each other and we've played with each other and we've all grown as a team. I think our team can get through it um, because our team really doesn't have any weaknesses. We all put our foot down and we're all good at something. So we're really all rounders all together. But are cracks starting to appear in Team Sting? I'm a little bit worried about what it's going to be because yeah. I know it's going to be really, really hard. If the worst comes the worst and we do lose, uh, I'd probably feel a bit upset and I'd probably feel um, 
ups angry with myself because I feel that it was actually my fault. I think uh, Olivia's the best choice for Captain. Yeah, for she's, sure. She's, she's really strong. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying something. I don't think she's... It's a, it's a personal comment, so you don't have to ag agree, but when I've been out of line sometimes and she's been Captain, um, well, other people have helped. But I don't really find Olivia to help out me that much when she's captain. Sting need to be pulling together, not starting to divide from within. With the sound of drums echoing around the island, the teams are summoned to the island fire for the very last time. Hello, Team Sting. Hello. Hi, Team Claw. Hi. So, teams, welcome to the final Island Fire. Aww. Captain for Claw, first of all. Alex. Hiya. Had a good day? Yeah, it's been brilliant. We failed. We, well, we didn't lose Jake, so that's the good thing. Alex, you were absolutely brilliant today. Thank you. I think you've been a brilliant captain. Thank you. I think you've been heroic. Thank you. And I think you've been a great team leader. Thank you. And I'm sure that your team would agree. Yeah. Thank you. Do you like all these compliments? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Team Sting won the first round of Vertigo. They nominated Jake as the player they would like to steal. Jake, you're still in Claw. Yep. Because Claw defended well. Yep. Are you happy to be in Claw? Yep. So Team Sting, just remind me, Cameron, how many players have you got? Ten. Ten players. But remember, in the final race to escape, anything can happen. What would you say to that remark? Well, it did strength in numbers, so we should have an advantage. I can tell you right now that these are your final teams. There'll be no more swaps. Sting, you have ten players. Claw, you have six. Those teams are finalised and sealed. So who can win? Well, we will find out very soon. We are leading up to the final escape from Scorpion Island. We need to find out who the new team captains will be. Earlier on, you all took part in a secret ballot. You all voted for who you'd like to be your team captain for the great escape. Who has that honor? The island can now reveal it. I will turn the inner ring. Team Sting, your final team captain is Olivia. So last time we spoke to you, you were the most wanted player on the island. And how does it feel to be voted by your peers? It's really great because there's 10 people on our team and I got picked to lead us in the last challenge. So there's quite a bit of pressure, but I'm sure I can pull through. Olivia, what skills do you think you possess for the rest of your team to choose you? Um, I think I am like a good leader because in most of the challenges that I've led, I've won. And I hope I can always put a smile on everyone's faces when we're singing songs or just being generally stupid in everyday life. So I think it's important to have fun while you're being a captain. The island would also like to know, is there anything you're not very good at? Being quiet. Sting, can she do it for you? Alex, you are current team captain, who will be your new team captain in the race to escape this island. Good job. I'll turn the inner ring and the island will reveal. As voted for by you, Claw, your final team captain for the great escape will be Sammy. Sammy did incredibly well today in the Challenge Vertigo. Thank you. I think you're a born leader. Your team thinks you're a born leader. How are you going to help them through this final escape? Well, even though we're four players short, I think we've got a really strong team and we work together and I hope I can lead our team to victory. Your former captain, Alex, showed great determination. Yep. He was heroic. He was very positive. You've got to fill those shoes. Yeah. 
I think he did really well as team captain because he stayed positive all the time and I hope I can just lead in his shoes. Is Sammy your leader? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Can she do it? Yes! Yeah. So, let's find out what the final challenge will be. Place your hands on the outer ring and turn. So in the final race to escape, your next challenge will be called Torrent of Terror. Olivia, any ideas? I think it's going to be terrifying. Do you think it's going to be the most extreme challenge you've done so far? Definitely. Yeah. 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 Yes. So everyone agrees. Sammy, Torrent of Terror. I don't know. I just think it's just going to be a really, really hard challenge. You will all soon find out what Torrent of Terror actually is. So then, teams, this could be your final night on Scorpion Island. Well, for the winners. But for the losers, only the island knows. The teams are finally ready to take on the island's last, most totally demanding trial. Torrent of Terror. Sting and Claw will be faced by an epic wall of mud that they have to climb. However, on Scorpion Island, nothing is that easy. The teams will have to struggle against gale force winds and face cascades of ice cold water coming straight at them. But they don't just have to get themselves up the hill. They've got to drag ropes attached to useful bits of kit. Once they're at the top, the teams will have to use these parts to build rafts, which they'll use for the final head-to-head -head race to escape from Scorpion Island. The members of Sting and Claw will have to draw on all their reserves of strength just to get through it, let alone to succeed. And with that extraordinary teamwork, Failure is guaranteed. It's going to be tortuous. It's going to be extraordinary. It will be the ultimate battle.